Spring. Spring. Parliament, with its famous hi-fi recess filter. Where did you take my last kit? Then there's this flip-top box. It's never too early to start thinking about lung disease. That's why my children smoke Marlboro Golds. They're smooth. You watching me, watching you, watching... Mr. and Mrs. United States. When I draw on a cigarette, I want to taste something. The topic of very great interest this week. The world's most thoroughly tested filter. Was the controversy over cigarettes and cancer of the lung. Breathe easy, smoke. Although cigarette sales have never fully recovered from the anti-cancer fad of the 1990s, corporations that deal in nicotine are larger than ever, thanks to an expanding selection of new nicotine-based products. As a result of overreaching federal bans on public smoking, 27 states have made possession of Nicorette mandatory at all times. Meanwhile, the most popular gift items this year include nicotine-infused vodka, nicotine-smoked bacon, and nicotine smoked bacon infused vodka. Mmm. Are you lonely, bored, irritated by constant advertising? Then you need Zen. Instantly put an end to anxiety. Afraid of Zen related brain damage. Oh, crud. Hi, I'm a human guinea pig. <laughs> The amazing and popular Zen Neuro Calibrator is sweeping the globe. But the heavily advertised super product, now on sale for only $17.99, is not without its critics. Many formerly respected CEOs of failing companies have raised allegations that Zen's capacity to alleviate any desires or anxieties suppresses consumer demand, causing the decline of entire industries and the global economy. Representatives from fields as diverse as psychiatry, ice cream, and sex tourism are reportedly uniting in a class action lawsuit intended to shut down production of the helmets. <laughs> of course, here at the Propagator Media Corporation, we were shocked by these claims and very skeptical that the sponsor of so many fine programs and infomercials could be somehow contributing to the current recession. We spoke to Propagator's Junior Vice President of Marketing and Asbestos Mining, the man responsible for introducing Zen to the public. Well, obviously these claims are absurd. Zen consumers are happy consumers, and happy consumers spend money just as God intended. Zen is a fine product and Propagator Media Corporation stands proudly behind it. But sir, how do you respond to the latest Nielsen numbers showing that Zen use has led to an 87% decline in television viewing? Um, I just... Keep your ugly Zen Neuro helmets. I say there's only one truly perfect consumer product. Good old fashioned nicotine. Whether you get your fix in gum, patch, or spray form, or even rolled up in a paper tube, nicotine does what every other product promises and fails to do. It satisfies. And what does it satisfy? This, my friends, is the beautiful thing. The satisfaction a nicotine consumer derives is the pure rush of relief from the endless, gnawing hunger of nicotine addiction. You might be out of work, your marriage might be on the rocks, but none of that matters when you have an old friend who's always with you. A warm, fuzzy addiction that gives you the power to feel better anytime you choose. <laughs> Diamond Industries, makers of the wildly popular and insanely dangerous Zen Nero Calibrator filed for bankruptcy today after failing to defend itself from the largest class action lawsuit in history. Virtually every corporation in the world united in arguing that the happiness inducing Zen devices were at best unsafe for human use, but likely even bad for business. When asked whether or not he was aware that Zen may cause brain damage and memory loss, inventor Diamond Daryl Kay said he didn't recall and could not understand the question. In his ruling, the judge agreed that Diamond Industries was responsible for years of global economic recession and awarded damages of $30 trillion. Tonight's news was brought to you by Nicorodeon, the nicotine replacement therapy gum with the taste that kids love. 